G'day, Pat Callanan here, and welcome to the RV Daily Practical Guide to Modern Towing. We are really excited to bring you this production because it covers off so many grey areas about towing, and safety is the absolute foremost part of this production. We really want to show Australians how you can tow and how you can tow safely, and we really have brought a stellar team together. Our main presenters are John and Julie Eggenheisen, and they have loads of towing experience. In fact, they happen to run Australia's premier towing education company, TowEd, doing practical towing courses right around Australia. One thing that I really want to emphasise is the fact that this video series is not a substitute for getting out there with your own vehicle and your own trailer and doing a practical towing course. There is simply nothing like it. But there is so much theory involved and so many really cool tips that we can show you in video format that this is still gonna be a really exciting production for you to watch from start to finish. Believe me, you will learn a whole lot. The world of caravanning is filled with a number of acronyms. It is so confusing. So Julie, how do we sort this out? Yeah, look, let's go through one by one what they mean. Let's start with the tow vehicle. When it leaves the factory, the manufacturer specifies a figure that's called a curb weight. While it varies, usually it includes the driver and liquids such as oil and fuel. Tear weight, or mass, is a term used in trucks, and as we'll see in a minute, caravans. So with vehicles, remember it's the curb weight as a starting point. Payload is comprised of accessories you add as well as the gear you pack and of course the vehicle's occupants. Remembering that temporary additions like roof cargo have to be factored in or out of your calculations on each trip. Payload also includes the tow ball weight exerted by the trailer on your vehicle's tow ball and this figure is often overlooked in weight calculations. Of course you have to factor in the towing capacity or limit of your tow vehicle as set by the manufacturer. Now the big one for your tow vehicle is the Gross Vehicle Mass or GVM. This figure is set by the vehicle manufacturer as the total your vehicle can weigh. Everything has to be factored into this figure to make sure your vehicle can perform within its mechanical specifications and dynamic limits. You cannot exceed it for safety and legal reasons. Of course you will void your insurance policy if you do so. You will find these figures stamped on your vehicle's compliance plate, so make sure you're familiar with them and take your vehicle to a weighbridge to make sure you're within its limits and legal. Now let's take a look at your caravan. Tear mass is the caravan manufacturer's starting point. It's the weight of the caravan as per their specifications, with any accessories attached at time of van build, and empty water tanks and empty gas cylinders. Next is the aggregate trailer mass, or ATM which is the figure the manufacturer states cannot be exceeded when the trailer is given its full payload. Now payload is the same as with the tow vehicle and all the gear you pack in, the accessories you add, the water tanks and gas cylinders you fill. Payload is calculated as the ATM minus the tear. It's important to know the ATM as opposed to the tear when working out if your vehicle can legally tow the trailer. It's no good having a towing capacity of 3,500 kilos with a trailer tear of 3,000 kilos and an ATM of 3,600 kilos. The next term is slightly confusing. Gross trailer mass, or GTM. This is the fully loaded trailer. However, the figure is gained with the trailer on the weighbridge and still attached to the vehicle. This figure actually records the weight of the van exerted on its wheels. Remember, it doesn't include the tow ball weight. While important, it's less relevant than the ATM. You'll probably become mates with your local Weybridge operator, but it's crucial you get the weights correct. Pack everything for a trip and take your fully loaded combination to the Weybridge. First, while hitched, weigh the van to check the GTM. Then make sure the unhitched tow vehicle is within its GVN limit and weigh the unhitched van to check the ATM. If you're over your ATM, then either you've packed too much and need to lose some weight, 
or there are questions regarding the tear that you may not have checked when you purchased the van. The overall weight of your combination, hitched and loaded, is the gross combination mass, or GCM. This is set by the tow vehicle manufacturer and is the maximum your vehicle and trailer can weigh. It's crucial that none of these weights are exceeded and it's up to you to make sure you comply in the eyes of the law. Hopefully we've simplified the terms and now you're set to have a great trip. So John, there's two different words there, rating and mass. What's the difference? A mass is what the trailer or the caravan actually weighs and a rating is what it is allowed to weigh. So which one of our acronyms relate to rating? Okay, so uh, the aggregate trailer mass, the gross trailer mass and the tow ball mass, all are ratings. The trailer or caravan is allowed to weigh that much, but it may not, depending upon the load that you put in there. They will vary. So which ones relate to mass? So the tear mass is the actual weight of the trailer or the caravan as it comes off the showroom floor. So having a good understanding of all the language and the acronyms that we use while operating a trailer means that we can be safe and legal while we're out there on the road. Getting the ball weight correct is critical to the stability of whatever trailer we happen to be towing. So what is ball weight? Ball weight is the amount of downforce exerted by the tow hitch of the trailer over the tow ball of the vehicle that happens to be towing it. Most Australian trailer manufacturers would recommend that the tow ball weight is somewhere between 7 to 15% of the aggregate trailer mass or the ATM. So to measure that correctly, we need a set of tow ball scales. To measure the ball weight of the trailer, place the tow ball scales underneath the hitch of the trailer and then lower the jockey wheel till the full weight of the tow hitch is supported on the scales. So now that you've got the tow ball weight, you've used the scales, that's fantastic. Is it within the 7 to 15 percent? If it is, fantastic. If it's not and it's too light, the trailer could be unstable. Conversely, if it's too heavy, the trailer could also be unstable. So now that you know what that weight is, you can adjust the load within the trailer to make sure that it is at the optimum ball weight. There is no handbook which covers all the legalities of towing. A lot of this legislation is state-based, but there are some national regulations that we must adhere to. These regulations include mirrors and braking systems. When it comes to mirrors, the legislation is very clear. You need to have visibility around whatever you are driving and towing. The easy way to tell if you need extended mirrors or not is to have the vehicle and trailer in a perfectly straight line. Walk to the rear corner of the trailer and then look up the side. If you can't see all of the vehicle's mirror surface, then you need extended mirrors. When it comes to braking systems, Trailers up to 750 kilos don't need any brakes at all. Between 750 kilos to 2,000 kilos, they can have either overrun brakes or electric brakes. It's your choice. When it comes to trailers over 2,000 kilos, they need to have brakes operated from the driver's seat. In addition to this, when the trailer has a gross trailer mass of over 2,000 kilos, it must be fitted with a breakaway brake system which incorporates a battery which has enough power to apply the brakes on the trailer for a minimum of 15 minutes should the trailer and the vehicle separate. In New South Wales, there is an additional piece of legislation which governs the breakaway system. It stipulates that there must be a monitoring system alongside the driver somewhere in the cabin which gives either an audible or visual alarm should the breakaway battery reach a low voltage. One of the things that we quite often get asked when we're doing the towing courses or we're at the shows is, can I have a do not overtake turning vehicle sticker on the back of my trailer? Well, it's not a mandatory requirement, but if your combination of vehicle and trailer are longer than seven and a half metres combined, then yes, you can have that sticker on the back of your trailer. The benefits of having that sticker mean that you can occupy multiple lanes 
either when turning left or right or even travelling through a roundabout. We've all seen trucks and semi-trailers occupying multiple lanes when turning left or right or going through roundabouts. By putting the Do Not Overtake Turning Vehicle sticker on the back of your trailer, it affords you the same rights as those trucks. Insurance, it's not just about the dollars. You need to be clear about your cover, so read that fine print. We've come up with a list of questions. If your insurance company doesn't ask you these questions, then you should be asking them. The sum insured, is it an agreed value or a market value? Does it include all the accessories and modifications I've made to my trailer? Do I have to let them know about those modifications? The contents, is it a set amount or do I get to set the value? Is it covered if something's stolen out of a canvas annex? Roadside assist, does it cover my vehicle and my trailer? Does my policy cover the full weight of my combination in the event of a recovery? Where am I covered? Does it matter where I am? Off-road, gazetted roads, fire trails, beach, or even private property? Does training or experience make a difference? Am I eligible for a discount if I do a training course? Is my combination set up correctly? Is my vehicle suitable to tow that trailer? You have a duty of disclosure to tell your insurance company about any modifications you've made to your trailer or your vehicle and where you intend to use them. Armed with this list, shop around to ensure you get the correct insurance cover for your own personal towing situation. Mm -hmm.